<laughs> Alright, I'm not wearing this shirt all three days. We've shot three videos in a row here because we've had a lot to talk about. Just, just want y'all to know that. Come back here and let me show you something. This stinger, to finalize some thoughts from previous, the stinger does another thing. See how it's symmetric with the car? Well, this gearbox is not. This gearbox offsets like this. If you didn't have this panel here, the whole thing would be looking crooked to you. So this gearbox kind of, or, or this this uh, st this part of the stinger kind of hides that offset of the gearbox and brings your eye back to the center line. Every bit of this, the the car, the back of the car comes like so, and then up like so. The tail lights come across here. They're about an inch in from the back of here, but all of this is exposed underneath the tail lights. There is no bodywork below the tail lights until you get way out here to the fenders. So when you look at the back of the car, you see all of this, and that that keeps from what you're looking at from looking crooked. The motor talked about getting that in and out. We talked about the motor plates. This motor. You can bring it out the top or out the bottom. The motor plates are here. You take off uh, eight bolts, and it comes top or bottom very uh, simply and easily. This motor is a 383 aluminum-headed stroker motor by Smetting. Smetting is a GM motor builder. Uh, this thing comes factory with a 300,000-mile factory warranty. It's got all the good stuff. It comes carburetor to oil pan complete. The price is extremely reasonable. Uh, they're guaranteed at 420 horsepower. Every one I've got is putting out 450 horsepower. Comes with a dyno sheet, and 450 horsepower doesn't sound like just a whole lot until you put it in a 2,300-pound car, and then it's got a better power-to-weight ratio than a NASCAR or Cup car. This motor, these plates, the way they hold it on, and everything. Very stable, but the plate also allows you to change motors by just changing the plate. Uh, fuel dragster motor, just something kind of interesting, similar plate. That plate comes over and sets down on this frame rail right here. Slides up and down the frame rail so that you can separate the engine and transaxle. There's a couple of hose clamps that hold it to this frame rail. 6,000 horsepower top fuel motor, or at least that's what they were last time I was fooling with them. Now I guess they're 7,000 horsepower. But that, that 6,000 horsepower top fuel motor is held in the car by a couple of hose clamps. But this, this right here, I'm just extremely pleased with the accessibility that it'll fall out the bottom, pull out the top, or whatever you want to do. Uh, another thing here I want to show you, last time we looked at this chassis, it did not have these pieces right here on it. Just had the bars coming up. We were still revising the body to exactly what we're going to do here. We now have that. Uh, this right here, rather than have a piece of square tubing come across here, this is some plates. What that does, this is the hinge mount up under here. The farther forward and higher you can get that hinge mount, the less the, the rear hatch as it comes up tries to dig into the rest of it. So that's the way we've done that. It also enables us to come around here that also enables us to cheat up this area right here. Come on, this thing. Cheat up this area right here. Uh, so I can get a little taller mailbox or mail slot of a rear uh, window in it. But all that's done. I'm very happy with that. We have done away with what I call the Fred Flintstones roof. There used to be a, a metal aluminum halo in the old cars, and there was one here that came out like this. It was a very, very complicated way of hanging a rear view mirror and sun visors. When we thought we was, would need it on this car, because remember the butterfly door has a hinge point up here, but we have worked out a corrugated system with a fiberglass that's actually stronger than that, does away with every bit of that, simplifies that. I am extremely pleased with the way all that design finally worked out. Don't look too close at this. I, uh, I got too big a hurry and got too fast a feed speed and chewed it up on my router. I've got to cut, recut that piece, but you get the idea. Uh, 
I think I've got everything pretty well. The, the stuff that I wanted to dummy up and look at, I have. Uh, I think I've got it, a pretty good idea of it. I've seen the things, uh, a little bitty things, like I knew this was going to be real tight right here where the, the uh, uh, hoses come out right here. I'm good on that, but a whole lot of little, little bitty stuff like that. I wanted to see for myself instead of seeing a design program. You remember I gave the example some several uh, videos ago how Peterbilt said, you know, just put it in there and we'll tell you. And I said, well, I kind of need to see it for myself. And they said, well, we used to build trucks that way and it worked pretty good. So that's all the kind of stuff I really wanted to look at, really see. Uh, here in the next little bit, we are going to strip it all back down. We're going to paint this chassis with the Rhino lining. Come around here. We got we got uh, a not rhino lining, lizard skin. We got some lizard skin heat and sound stuff. I got another gallon of it. There's not quite enough left over from the other project. Got this uh, lizard skin uh, overcoat stuff that's going to go on all the inside parts. Way pleased and happy with that. But uh, here in the next little bit, there's all our stacks of Willwood stuff we got in the other day. Um, here in the next little bit, we're going to tear all this back down to a bare frame, uh, glue the few little pieces together, and lizard skin it, and start putting it together for real. We've spent a great deal of time on the body the last couple of days, and it is getting close to cutting body plugs, but we're far enough along to know that it's going to work, that I can harden all this up and be confident that I can fit that body on it. It actually fits extremely well. So I think that's about it for number three.